Welcome back to another video, and today this kind of just hit me, but first I will turn off the cam because the quality bad. Okay. So a person told me this uh, some months ago before he walked out of my life. He said, if you talk to me, my light will change you. At that moment, I'm like, okay, you're kind of crazy. Turns out he was onto something because I met another person of light like myself. It Everyone is spiritual in their own way, so long as you're not a toxic asshole or who turns the other cheek at evil, looks the other way, doesn't acknowledge it, lies, uh, other ne negativity things demons do. Um... So I have been talking to this person and you know when you did do something but then you lost the passion so you stop doing this and then you meet someone who reignites your passion so before I met this person and started talking to him I was not doing a lot of selfies I wasn't posting travel photos on Instagram um, nature photos skyscapes waterscapes animals uh, I still don't do animals, really, but there have been a few. So I go from hardly posting anything to posting a lot, like I used to. And I'm sitting here thinking back to what this person told me before he walked out of my life. If you talk to a person with light, their light will help evolve you, help change you. And uh, I have to say, that's actually accurate. Because if you're talking to people who are is toxic, your vibration will stay in the negativity zone. But if you are talking to a person of light, their light will help evolve you to bring you back to peace, positivity, and balance. But for me, being a loner and hardly talking to anyone because I do not do fake I block any hater, I block any fake, I block all negativity, all drama, and people do not approach me anymore since I left that drama out of my life and completely changed from walking on the left path to going into the light. Changed from darkness, 3D, to change to into the light and 5D. Do, do, during that change, what did I notice? No one is approaching me anymore. They all stopped. But when I started talking to people of light who have approached me, good things come good things have happened and I know my light has helped people that I never spoken to who have followed me uh, on my YouTube or Instagram or even in the Discord 
my posts have helped them in in ways that I have yet to fully understand because they have not talked to me yet. Um, so I, I know I have helped people when they have watched my fo- photos and uh, videos, etc. And I, I know that my light is helping when I feel like no one cares and I'm invisible. No, you just have not found the right people who will throw to you because you do not do fake. You're not 3D anymore, therefore people will not approach you anymore (laughs) unless they can relate to what you post out there. So the point is, my light has changed people that I have not met yet. My light will continue to do so. And for me to focus on the people who have followed me, who are continuing to follow what I show, what I post, be it on Instagram or my YouTube channel. And for me to talk to people of light, it's all, it's all good. All good things come to talking to people who are of the light. Continue to talk to people who spread light rather than darkness. Find people who are on 5D, focus on them rather than the 4D people who trick you into believing that they are of light, but really they are spreading fear, nonsense, and 3D aspects still. I call them false lighters because they tell you to love everyone, strangers, rapists, etc. Bless these people, look the other way, and help everyone. Spread your light to the point where you are utterly drained and exhausted because you are helping a energy vampire from being 3D to spiritual freedom. And they copy everything you do to the point you collapse Yes, I've been though. I know what it feels like. I know what it does. What they do to you. Remember, have boundaries to prevent this in the future. And a demon told me to, uh, demons don't exist. You, the universe is not hurting you. And... Yeah, stop misreading me because I was joking. And demons do exist. Pulitzer guys exist. Hauntings are real. Anyone who says otherwise is full of crap. And I do not trust anyone who is does not believe in the darkness. D- meaning they acknowledge shadow work. They acknowledge darkness is real. Demons trick you away from your power. They lie, they manipulate things, sugarcoat things, etc. Do not focus on these types of people. Focus on the real light workers, such as myself. And I have watched, uh, two people, but then I kind of quit because I kind of don't need 
the post anymore because I live it, breathe it, see it, acknowledge it, etc. However, I do read titles, so I still watch these people. So you have to find more people of the light who you accept, who you align with. Uh, for me, it's about the chakras, um, 5D aspects, like the game is, the game of life is that, a a virtual reality game that you logged into and you have to figure out why you were born into this body, why are you here, and then do that mission no matter what. So, I mean, deep thinking post says as that, but if I don't write with it, I ignore it. Or I add uh, my information on top of it to like show the the darkness that is underlying it and then expose it. Or I just, like I said, just ignore it and unfollow that person. So that's uh, saying, um, I'm trying to think of an example to give you. Um, well, here's the big one that I keep going back to. God will not save you. You are your own savior. And yet so many people are closed minded and ask for these prayers but you yourself have that power, and yet no one really acknowledges it. So I, I block anyone who believes that someone else will save them, because you're a 3D sheeple, closed-minded person who cannot see their own power, even if I slam it in your face. And yes, I have tried that before. Does not work. You are going to literally talk to a brick wall and regret why you're talking to this person who will never have the ears at this time to listen to your deep messages. Yes, I've done it and I know not to do that anymore. Then that also goes back to uh, do not follow people who have no idea who they are, what they are in soul. By that, I mean the lost, confused, closed-minded, cannot heal the universe, cannot see the signs, cannot understand deep messages, deep thinkers always listen to the people always follow the people who are way out of the box being on 5d who are real because there are lots of people who think they are on 5d but the cons and they trick you they manipulate you and they rob you if they are asking for money. This information should be free to the public rather than pay me for it. But that's just my personal take on that. And I've actually read a comment that actually said that on a uh, starseed who was given information on how to find your starseed markings, but this information was not free. And people were griping that, hey, give this to me for free. This needs to be free so you can help more people. So, yep, I'm a freelancer. All my info is free to the public and as it needs to be, as it should be. 
give me more free stuff so I can empower myself further. Rather than do greedy, greedy, greedy. But that is just my take on it. Until we meet again. I did that. Hmm. That one's actually pretty good. Uh-huh. You're done good. I try. I swear I forget. I don't think I'm... I need to do better, but it's impossible. Thought I clicked the stop button, so if you're still here... The point? Focus on the light, not the darkness. Keep away from the people who drain your energy. Continue to talk to people who are of the light. And for a person like myself, it helps me to get more ideas flowing brainstorming, um, finding new subjects that you never thought possible, was, which is actually this video. So, yes. <laughs> Energy does affect you in ways we have yet to understand. The light is, well, it needs to be. Light will help you. Light will change you. But they have to be of 5D. Not this false light who sugarcoats everything, etc. Until we meet again.